men and women serving under the European Union flag. As the chairman of the European Union Military Committee, I want to express my sincere gratitude to all of you who are deployed in different parts of the world on EU missions and operations. From the Mediterranean to the Indian Ocean and from the Balkans to the African continent, on land, at sea and in the air, you are part of a formidable force of more than 3,000 men and women, demonstrating the European Union's enduring commitment and contribution to security, peace and stability. These missions and operations are an essential and valuable tool and constitute a structural component of the European Union's integrated approach, putting flesh to its bones. Your bravery, professionalism and sense of duty are qualities which are making a real difference whenever you are deployed. I did not expect any less. Neither did your respective national heresies. Your role in securing our way of life in Europe and abroad is invaluable. Your contribution and relentless effort are recognized by the local societies. They are also acknowledged and respected at the highest political and military echelons in Brussels. I thank you for this. With our naval operations at Atalanta and Sofia, we are actively engaged in the Horn of Africa and in the Mediterranean, and the progress and the results you have achieved are more than inevitable. In Bosnia and Herzegovina, your support, continuous assistance, and contribution to ensure a safe and secure environment in the country is decisive and important to the country's future. Turning to the African continent, your high level of professionalism and your tireless efforts now further enhanced under the control of recently established military planning and conduct capability cell allowed us to progressively strengthen our international commitment to capacity building by providing training and advisory to the armed forces of the Central African Republic, Mali and Somalia. Capacity building is of paramount importance to build institutional capacity and train defense forces which are accountable and respectful of human rights. You should all be proud of what you have achieved. In contributing to peace, security and stability in these diverse re regions, you have earned not only the appreciation of the European Union's leadership, but also a global recognition and respect. My thoughts, especially at this time of year, are very much with the families and friends of those who have lost their lives or have been injured in the course of their duties in our missions and operations in the past. We will always be grateful to them. I'm absolutely convinced that you will continue to pursue this noble endeavor with pride and honor, and I wish you and your loved ones Merry Christmas and a safe and prosperous New Year.